Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that I have been meaning to make for a while and I really wasn't sure how to go about it, but I was just so in the zone right now for making a video that I was like, we're gonna do it and it may not be perfect, but we're just gonna go for it. So this is my how I got involved in fashion week video because it is something that has been asked of me by everybody I have told in person, my own mother, people on here, just asking me how I did this, and I kind of just wanted to give you guys the rundown as to what I did and what happened when I got there and all that fun stuff, so let us just get right in. So basically, I have always been really into fashion and the fashion industry, and ever since I was growing up, my mom would always show me pictures of Fashion Week, the runway stuff, and I would always be just like mesmerized. She would get Vogue and Vanity Fair, and I would be obsessed with it. When it came in the mail, I was like, this is mine, thank you mom, bye. And she'd just be like, uh-uh, that's mine, I'll pay for that. Basically, it never really occurred to me that Fashion Week needs people to work. I always just kind of thought that it happened. It was like the logistics of it didn't really ever connect in my brain. I was never like, oh yeah, people have to do this. They have to have people working behind the scenes of this kind of stuff. So when this little seed was implanted in my brain by the internet, I'm assuming, I can't even remember exactly where I was like, this is what I need to do because it just happened. But when I realized it, it was probably January. It was like the late, at the end of January and I was like, Fashion Week's in February. Why not? Let's just give it a shot. Because Mercedes-Benz does uh, sponsor Fashion Week, so I was thinking, okay, they must be in charge of everybody. I also didn't think that different companies ran Fashion Week in their own circles, so I was just like, can somebody give me a job? I, I just emailed somebody at the Mercedes-Benz website. I do believe it was their info email and was just asking about volunteer opportunities. And I straight up told them, I was like, I understand that it is very late for me to be asking about this, but if it's possible, could you please give me an opportunity? And I expressed how passionate and excited I was about this and saying that I was like a super hard worker and I would do whatever they told me to do and I just wanted to be involved. And they directed me towards a couple of different um, websites and I emailed people on all of those websites. I heard back from two of them. One of the women kind of flaked on me a couple times, she just kept not getting back to me. So we ended up not communicating well. So I actually ended up getting in touch with the CEO, which I did not know at the time, of FTL Moda, which is where I ended up working, and Alaria Nicolini, who is the most wonderful woman in the world, I do believe. And she put me in touch with her assistant, Matt. And Matt goes to the King's College down in New York City, and he was just like, Sure, here's the information. I would like you, if you want to volunteer, that's totally cool. I actually ended up getting lucky finding them because they were using volunteers from the college because Matt goes there, so they were like, let's just utilize these students as volunteers. And they sent out something at the school, I'm assuming, and they all just kind of flocked to volunteer. And I was pretty much the only one who didn't go there who was showing up and just being like, hi, I'm gonna volunteer with you all and I don't know anybody and I'm not from here, so, hi. So Matt gave me the schedule and I came down on a Friday afternoon after work and went to their meeting and just got involved. Honestly, it was emailing people, just reaching out to people and telling them that I really wanted to do this. And from there on that Friday, we just kind of had a little meeting, a little powwow as to what was gonna go on, what the next few days were gonna hold, what we needed to be doing, what we need to expect, and what was expected of us. And I immediately fell in love with what I was doing. I found some really great friends that I met there. And just in that first day, I started to feel super excited about it. And it was only a couple hours, and I just started to feel like this was what I wanted to do. And that sounds kind of silly, I guess, to just be like, not really even know what it was I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to be in this industry. Then the next day was the day of the party, and I was on 7th Ave in the showroom, which was beyond amazing. Kendall and Kylie, their showroom was actually like across the hall from us, and it was like I saw all of their stuff before it was on the runway, and I felt super special, just saying. Just saying. And so we basically spent a lot of time putting together furniture and setting up stuff that was um, 
brought to us by the sponsors and it was a beer company so we were setting up a gajillion beer bottles me and Emma were just like lining them up perfectly and it was just a blast I blew up about a zillion balloons I had like the worst blister ever and it's still kind of there on my finger from just the continuous tying of balloons and I met so many great people and I made really great connections and networking is so important and I hadn't really thought about this at all because I have come from a town that is very small and there's no networking to be done there like you're not gonna meet anybody and since that experience at Fashion Week I have been talking to so many people about possible job opportunities and possible moving forward in something that I actually enjoy and not just working to pay my rent which is what I've always been afraid of having to do I don't want to hate what I do and at this event I just met people that just could do wonders for me and I am super excited for all of that to come to fruition with hard work obviously no one's gonna hand me a job but I have been working really really hard to kind of stay involved and from there after setting everything up and building a bunch of furniture and doing all of this basically bitch work let's be real that's what it was we actually got to go to the party and that was just phenomenal I I'm gonna say this and it's gonna sound really cliche but I felt really blessed to be there and I'm not a religious person but that's how I felt I was like I cannot believe this is happening and I kept saying that to Matt and he's like this could happen for anybody you just kind of have to like put yourself out there and not be afraid to fail and so from there was the fashion show on Monday I had Sunday off and then on Monday I went back and the fashion show was just incredible I spent a lot of time just basically running to find people and get clothing for people and make sure people were dressed in the right places and all of that kind of stuff along with setting up gift bags on the rows um, for the chairs and everything um, and then once the show started we just kind of got to hang out and watch it was so much fun honestly if anybody is trying to get into this industry I would recommend email somebody honestly go to the sites of the people that you enjoy people that you like if you don't know google it fashionista.com is a great place to look I have found quite a few job opportunities down there I will link them below so you guys can check out their own website they have news they have job opportunities they have all of that on their website and it's a really really great resource my biggest advice would just be throw yourself out there just be like this is who I am and be honest I do have I have no qualifications I have no experience I have no qualifications for these jobs I will tell you that now I don't 100% no but I am so hardworking and passionate that it doesn't matter sometimes sometimes if you tell people what I lack in experience and what I lack in technical qualifications I make up for in hard work and in enthusiasm and just the willingness to do what you tell me to do and to build on that and I think that sometimes that is what people need to hear. If you guys are interested in seeing some more pictures from this event and everything, I will link my Tumblr down below along with um, the FTL Moda site so you guys can check them out. Alaria is a god. She's wonderful. She's currently traveling so she's just not available but everybody who is involved with FTL Moda was just amazing and I am in love with their corporation and everything that they're doing and I will link all sorts of news articles and everything so you guys can check out what we did at the show and what it was all about because it was global disabilities inclusion which is really really cool because we had Rebecca Marine, we had Shaholi Ayers and we also had Madeline Stewart um, all of which are models with disabilities but they're still walking the runway in New York and that's just phenomenal so I will link everything below and if you guys do have any questions for me please leave them either down below um, Instagram or my website or my Tumblr. I thought I forgot what that was for a minute, but I have a lot of different things that you guys can contact me on, which will all be linked below as well. I'm sorry if this video was just kind of random and rambly and just, I just kind of wanted to get it out to you guys because I did tell you I would make a video about this and I really apologize if it was long and unclear and all of that. I just really wanted to let you guys know what I had been up to, how I got involved in this and in the best way I possibly could. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please give this a like. I really encourage you guys to check out the links below. And also, if you're not already, please subscribe. The button is somewhere down here. And I upload on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon. Bye. Love you.